know I'm getting in trouble with the police. I know. Justin Kennedy and Noah Kingston made no attempt to conceal their identities as they scaled this 60 meter hydro transmission tower. At some points, only a meter away from wires carrying up to 345,000 volts. 15-year-old Kennedy admits he knew it would have the law knocking at his door. So I know I'm probably going to get charged. Um, I'm not worried about the money though, but like just the record, I don't want to have you know I don't want to have that follow me the rest of my life. NB Power was so shocked by the climb, it contacted the police. This behavior will not be tolerated. They say it's not yet clear what the pair could be charged with. Well, we certainly look at uh, criminal mischief as uh, is under the criminal code as a potential charge and um, possibly uh, trespassing under the provincial act. The video has also gotten the thumbs down from the rock climbing community. That's because if something happens and, and someone dies while doing this, mm. then climbing as a whole is seen as a very dangerous sport whereas it's only a fringe uh, part of climbing. While neither climber wore safety harnesses, Kennedy insists he took some precautions. But I did wear gloves at one point just to like make sure, um, just you know, best safety I, I can get, right? The rubber gloves that the power line workers use, it's, it's helped somewhat. Turns out they wouldn't have helped at all. Andrew Ahern is with the local power company. He says gloves hydro workers use don't protect against the amount of electricity going through transmission lines. Like I said they're tested 20,000 volts. They don't even manufacture gloves uh, up to that high of potential to, to be used. They have to use different tools. While Kennedy says he'll continue to climb, Noah Kingston is done. I'm done climbing now for, uh, for me, that's, uh, that's because of no one else or no one else is, uh, has forced me to it. It's a decision I made on my own. Kingston says he doesn't want to encourage any copycat climbers. The police say even if he stops now, it won't affect their investigation. Matthew Bingley, CBC News, St. John.